Hello. Um, this is my first real experiment with Dynamo and Vasari. And what I decided to do is to take a script from my book, uh, which is called Parametric Design for Architecture, that creates a diagrid, takes a NURB surface, and puts a diagrid uh, set of triangles on it, or diamonds, um, and see if I could do it in uh, Dynamo. And actually, it took me about half a day to, to get it done, but um, it's now done and uh, works very well. So let me show you a little bit what, uh, what I was able to do. So what you see here on the screen is the uh, actual uh, Dynamo definition, uh, which I made into a packaged component or a custom node, I guess they call it. Um, so let me zoom in a little bit and go through it. Uh, I won't be able to explain everything that I have done um, and most of the heavy lifting was done actually in a Python script which is directly um, uh, derived from the script in my book. So basically as input it takes in a, a surface or a face they call it, a U, the number of segments on the U side and the number of segments on the V side and that determines how many columns and rows it will be divided into. Uh, from that surface I get uh, the domain, the U and V domain, which is basically from 0 to 1, uh, so that I can subdivide this into multiple U and V parametric uh, points on the surface. And then there is this uh, Python script that takes this list of the face, the, the U and the V and the domain, and as I said does most of the heavy lifting. So let me see if I can quickly show you this. So basically this is the script and it does that. This is almost identical to the script in my book which was based on Mac script and Python is very similar. So I could do that in Python. And then out of that I get um, a list which I subdivide into two lists uh, th that are the uh, U and V uh, that are needed. And then I pass those on to the surface to evaluate it and from these U and Vs I get an actual uh, coordinate, X, Y, Z coordinate. And then I do a, another Python script that basically um, looks at that X, Y, Z list and looks at my uh, vertex list from the other Python script and combines them together, find, builds the actual uh, actual uh, list of uh, vertices that need to be triangulated. And from there, basically, I take every three of them from 0 to 2, a sequence, I build my points, so this is a series of points, and I build my facets. And that's it, the output goes out to facets. So let me show you how to uh, build this from this surface on, on the right. So if I have this home, I'm going to search for my, the custom node, it's called Diagrid Facets. And uh, let's put a Watch 3D on it so that we can see the output. Put that over here so the facets will be connected to the Watch 3D. Now it needs a face, a U, and a V. So let's go ahead to select face, which will be this face on the, on the right. We we'll put that here. Connect that to face, and let's just put two numbers. And let's copy and paste this one. And those will be the U, and this will be the V. So let's make this into some number like five divisions and the U, and maybe ten divisions and the V. And uh, we are ready now. We have to select an instance, so we click on this button and we click on the surface. Now that is recorded here. It has face ID 31522 and we can run the diagrid script. Now we just have to zoom out to see it and there it is. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. Uh, it's hard without seeing the edges of it, what it's doing. Uh, let's um, not preview the original surface so that you can 
uh, see the actual thing. So here it is. So let's change the numbers a little bit. Change that to 10 and change that to 5. We will get a better looking die grid. There we go. Let me see if I can make this a bit larger for you guys. And I hope you can see it. The rendering is not great here, but it is a nicely triangulated uh, die grid for these things. And you can change these any, any which way you want. So you can make that really coarse. And run it again. All right. I'm going to see if I can share this package. I'm new to all of this, so obviously I'm, I'm familiar with scripting, but Dynamo is something that I'm experimenting with. It's, it looks fantastic. looks like it's really working well. Of course, it's very much like this other visual programming software, uh, but uh, connecting it to Vasari and Revit seems to be a very, very interesting way of going about it. And the Python scripting inside is really fantastic. I can do all my work in, in Python scripting and then just uh, package it all up. Thanks for watching.